Hi, my name is Sander Dolleman and welcome to my archery workshop. In this video I'm going to show you the 5 basic nuts you need to learn to build your own strings. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as quickly as I can. The first chapter of this video is about making a serving, either a center serving or a serving for your string stopper. Uh, we're going to use paracord so you can see more in detail. And the first step you want to do is take a piece of rope in your left hand, go around the string for half a turn and then try to go cross over uh, the, the serving and go and serve a couple of turns. In this video I only do five, but usually uh, when I'm making a string, I try to keep all these servings about 20 turns, so they're all the same. So when you finish those, to, to serve those 20 turns, uh, you can pull it a little tight, so that piece of serving will stay in place. Now that you have locked this thread in, you can just start serving um, till the length you want to, uh, the length that you want to have uh, for this type of serving. And when you reach almost at the end, uh, we're gonna make a little loop. Uh, so we place two fingers on the thread. So we keep serving forward, but instead of going to the left, we're serving to the right. Now when we have done, again I did six here, but when we have done like 20, we're gonna Put the end to the right and start serving backwards. And as you can see, when I wind it up on one side, it winds off on the other. And when we have done the number of turns, all you have in the end is a little loop. Well, then you pick this, the little end of the serving and you pull it through and pull it a little tight and then you have finished the center serving. The second knot I'm going to show you is the end serving. So we're going to connect the end loop with this end serving and this gold piece of uh, power cord will represent string material. Um, when normally put on the string this will stick because of the wax. Um, now with doesn't and I have to play a little to get the power cord in place. The first you do is just start serving, usually 20 or 30 turns, so it will stay on the string. And when you get done with that, you pick the other piece of the serving thread and you wind it back till you get the desired size of loop. Once you're there, you pick the little string loop out of the bag, put the material back through it, and easily push or pull on the string material to get it through. Well, it doesn't look all that great now with the, with the power cord, but I can show you that uh, when you do this with string material and, uh, and serving material, this will look mint. So knot number three is how to tie a peep side knot. And we start the same way as we do with serving. Thread in your left hand, go around the string for half a turn and cross over. And we make about five turns in this video, but usually I would do about 20. Uh, just to lock it in, pull a bit on the, on, the, on the serving material, but not too much as it will lock this piece of serving in very tightly and you cannot 
move it. Now we're gonna make a loop again, serve the amount of turns through that loop. And when we finish that, we pull the piece of thread to the right and go and serve over that. Again, we serve up here and it winds down on the other end, resulting in a loop, as you can see. Now we're gonna pull on that end and slide them tightly against each other. When you have it in place, pull it tight against each other and cut it down and then you can burn it off safely. So number four is the knocking point knot, which is compared to the others is pretty easy knot. So what we're gonna do is just make a simple knot like I do here, overhand knot I think is that what they call it. And you just pull it tight, but not too tight. You wanna have it in the exact location where you want it for your air to rest on, and then you pull it tight. Make a similar knot on the bottom, and do repeat these steps for another four times. I always make my knocking points about five knots on the bottom and three on the top. And when I get to the fourth knot, I make sure there's a little gap. And that gap is in place so I can put the final knot in between the third and the fourth knot so it locks better in place. There you go, that's how you make a knock point. Cut them down and burn it, and it will stay there forever. So the last chapter is making a D-loop, a very important piece of the compound string. And the most important thing of the D-loop is to have a good burn at the end of the loop, which that will prevent the loop coming loose. Uh, we start by making a loop and pull the two ta end tags through it and we're gonna need to slide the burn piece towards the center serving and in place so it will be kept in place by the little loop there as you can see it should be locked in now the second knot we're gonna make is exactly the same um, a lot, only then on the opposite side of the string. We're gonna pull the tag over the string and under it back through the loop we made. Then we go over the thread again, pull a little loop there and put the D-loop thread back through that loop over the center serving and put it into place. Now you can make it too length, cut it, make a good burn at the end and secure it in tight. So that were the five nuts you need to learn to build your own strings. I hope you liked this video and if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks for watching and see you later.